Thank you for joining me. We're at Southwest Arkansas's Crater of Diamond State Park, here to get the latest news of recent diamond finds at this unique public park. A video showing the three main methods for finding diamonds here is running in the upper left hand corner. In the upper right hand corner are photos of the recent diamonds that have been found. And across the bottom is ticker tape information of what size, what date, what color, and where the person lives who found the diamond. So I'll kind of give you a running tab. Oh, that's a beautiful one point yellow. There are 100 points of weight per carat. There's another lovely one point white and a four point white. So on January, excuse me, on Tuesday, January 12th, a visitor from Tulsa, Oklahoma registered a white diamond weighing five points. So 0 0.05 carats, five point diamond. It's one twentieth of a carat. Nine diamonds have been found so far in 2021 as of January 12th. So this is current information you're getting from the park right now. Picture of a 23 point white up there. Yes, 34,147 diamonds have been found so far since 1972. That's pretty good. There's one of the diamonds found, a 3.29 carat elusive dream found October 22nd, 2019. On uh, Tuesday, December 29th, a visitor from Texarkana, Arkansas registered an eight point brown diamond that he found here at the park. On Saturday, January 2nd, a visitor from Valley View, Texas registered a white diamond weighing 31 points. And I imagine that was Trey Wilson and his mother Reba, Reba Wilson. On Sunday, January 3rd, a visitor from Austin, Arkansas registered a white diamond weighing two points. On Sunday, January 3rd, a visitor from Austin, Arkansas also registered a three-point white diamond. On Monday, January 4th, a visitor from Grenada, Mississippi registered a four-point white diamond. There's a 31 point white that I think the Wilsons registered. On uh, Friday, January 8th, a visitor from Fayetteville, Arkansas registered a white diamond weighing one point. And that most likely was Sam Jones and, and his wife Sharon Jones. So Sam and Sharon Jones. Also on uh, Friday, January 8th, a visitor from Fayetteville, Arkansas registered a one point yellow. And that was probably Sam and Sharon Jones of Fayetteville, most likely. On Friday, January 8th, a visitor from Fayetteville, most likely Sam and Sharon Jones, registered a one-point white diamond. We've seen pictures of those at the right, and uh, they're pretty nice-looking diamonds. Small, but lovely. On January 8th, they also registered a 23-point white diamond. Now, that's a lot better size. Well, that would be Sam and Sharon Jones Diamond, the 23 white. So that's almost a quarter carat. On uh, Tuesday, January 12th, a visitor from Tulsa, Oklahoma registered a white diamond weighing five points. You can see what the uncut diamonds look like at the upper right. For example, that is a gorgeous one point yellow and a very pretty one point white. So that's what they look like when they come out of the ground. They haven't been cut, polished, washed, well, washed with water to get the dirt away, but nothing really sticks to a diamond. So they look like that clean and pretty when you find them. So they showed the three main methods for finding diamonds at the park. There's the admission, only $10 for adults for all day, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. of diamond searching. You get to keep all the diamonds you find, and it's only $10.
The beautiful Dempsey de Charme diamond found July 9th, 2020, weighed 2.73 carats. It's a lovely white that was recently cut in Bismarck, North Dakota by Schumacher diamond cutters. And it cut to a 1.18 carat cushion cut and it has been graded by the GIA and we're waiting for more information about their grade report to come out soon. But a very valuable, lovely, pretty diamond. Well, I think that pretty well brings us up current. Uh, the three main methods of finding diamonds at the park are, is uh, dry sifting, wet sifting, and surface searching and scratching as the demos on the left have shown. And Russell there is demonstrating the wet sifting method right now. He's got a square screen from the park that he's working back and forth and concentrating the heavies, washing through it, and then he'll flip it over. And the diamond should drop to the bottom, and as he flips it, the diamond should be sitting at the top in the middle, by the way he worked it. And there's a diamond at the end of his pocket knife. So, well, thank you for joining me for the latest information from Southwest Arkansas's Crater Diamond State Park. Come and uh, find a diamond when it fits your schedule, and uh, you'll make it up on the big marquee as well. Thank you for joining me on our Genuine Diamonds in Arkansas YouTube channel.